Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first exciting episode of Radio Noir. It was a dark, thunderstormy night, the air electric with forevers. The rain had lifted enough, the drunks emerged to bar drink. Expectancy impelled me out to the little bar in the hole in the wall, where I'd sometimes wait, <laughs> entertained by the alcoholic antics. The crowd gathered. The tiny stage beckoned. Suddenly, this shimmering, sensuous lady was there out of nowhere, with a voice as liquid as the Kahlua she sipped with full come-hither lips, captivatedly eyeing me, expectantly drinking me, my every insinuation inflection from <laughs> belly laughter to sobs of weeping. I told her everything. Her infectious smiles, fires, ignited pelvic deep, slow gathering up my spine into a rush, pouring between us, through our eyes, through every pore of our bodies. We both smitten teenage kittens, romping, skittering, glittering across the floor. I asked her, where are you from? She said, everywhere, no, nowhere, no, right here. She took my hand led me to the now vast stage. We whirled arm in arm gracefully among the stars across the galaxy. The barflies had multiplied into endless applauding audiences who cheered our magical poetry, which charmed the entire cosmos into a perfect moment. No heartache, no suffering anywhere. We grew multiple bodies, singing timeless angelic choruses we and all the cosmos united in unrestrained lovemaking, growing, gathering to a mighty storm, climaxing. And then we collapsed and shrunk back down into the little hole in the wall with a few inebriated customers buzzing as their cell phone rang, Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. She answered, Concern flashed across her face. She set her cell phone down, looked at me, said, She loved me forever. This night we begin, we would be together again. Then she dashed into the night. Well, I dashed after her, but she was nowhere to be seen. There was a very close white-hot lightning flash right through me. A sharp peeling thunder crack. It rained. It poured. And she was gone. No trace. No track. I remembered her cell phone hit recall. It said Laza, the capital of Tibet. Tune in next week for the second exciting episode of Radio Noir. Once again, I want to thank NomegaTV.com. If you want to get in touch with me, Lance Kelly, L-A-N-E-E-K at V-C-U dot E-D-U.